Okay, for the next beginner um, Zen Tangle, I'm going to do the Knight's Bridge. I find a lot of people just starting out with um, Zen Tangle uh, starts out with this one. This is one of the very first ones they do and you'll see why because it's so simple. So you want to start with diagonal lines. It is not your typical checkerboard. It, it is a checkerboard on an angle. That's a better way to put it. So this is how you start out is a crisscrossing um, crisscrossing um, lines. And then step two, when you have those crisscrossing lines, you're going to start coloring them in. Now, I have a better marker for this. Let me go get that. I'll be right back. Okay, I like this marker better. It's kind of a, it's like a felt tip. And so if you look at, think of this as a regular checkerboard, you're going to color it in every other one. Or you can look at it as all the ones on a diagonal. All of these will be filled in. As you can see, I like to outline the square first and then color it in. The black marker, you don't really notice a difference, but I do that so um, I stay within the lines. Okay. So it's a diagonal checkerboard. Let me show you um, one of the designs I use um, that uses the night bridge. Let me go get that. So as you can see here, I use the night's bridge, um, and I just um, I took it literally. I made it into kind of a bridge over some water, and these are the plants on the side. That was my thinking when I made it. Um, I tried to make it a little bit curved, so if you notice the lines that I made are not only diagonal, it's a little bit curved there too. So um, you can play with, uh, with the Knight's Bridge and do different things with it. And that's it. If you like this video, please like, share, um, and subscribe. Great. Thank you. Bye.